I have to sit outside the ER because it is so many people in there and I'm already sneezing. I don't even know. I just woke up sneezing. And so I don't want to give them whatever this sneezing thing is and that I don't want to get what they have. So I'm just sitting outside on the bench um, waiting for them to call my daughter's name. She's actually laying out in the car because she can't even hold her head up. So uh, we're here and um, we don't want, I don't want to be here, but we're here. So we got to do what we got to do while we're here. But uh, I tell you what, it's packed. And I feel bad that it's packed because I don't want nobody to be sick or feeling bad. It's bad enough we're going through Hurricane Helene aftermath. And then you have to end up in the ER. It's just like, how much can the human body absorb, you know? But um, at the end of the day, in the beginning of the morning, I have anointed my body entirely with the blood of Jesus oil. Uh, before I left home and because somebody has to take care of the sick and if you sick and they sick she ain't gonna take care of nobody because she a child so I mean so I just pray God he just keeps me grounded in what I need to be doing so that I can at least drive the car and you know once my daughter get her shot she'll be fine because she has to get a shot to stop the migraines she just have migraines and um it's something that she's been dealing with for the last 13 years after giving birth to my granddaughter that's why she didn't have any more kids because she had complications after she gave birth to my granddaughter and so those complications are still happening and for her to live the life that she does live is a blessing because if you see the medicine that the doctors want her to take it it's absurd it's, it's, it's crazy but to god be the glory we're here and it flares up every now and then and i think that this hurricane situation the power out and just going through changes set something off within her and so uh, when the power uh, came back on even for me i think the not having air conditioning and then your body is used to the air conditioning because you're talking about you you in air for months and then you don't have air and so your body gets used to not having air and then you turn it you know so it's just a lot that could be happening who knows i don't know but i don't i don't i haven't felt this way like sneezing and stuff like that i don't i don't have those problems i i don't for it's been a while because i stay away from germs i stay away from people and you know i just try to do the things that would cause these things to happen i try to stay away from those things like i'm outside right now from the er because i don't want to be subject to these things and i have my mask yes i do and i will put it on every time i walk in there like i said to protect them for what i'm doing sneezing and whatever they come in here for and um it's definitely something going on because it is packed but um neither here or there everybody just take care of yourselves um the best way that you can and um, I pray God's strength over everybody, my family, your family, and um, pray for my family. Thank you.